Hi, my name is Jamo from a company called Xcase, www.xcase.co.uk. We provide uh, built server systems, we sell server chassis and component parts. Today I'm doing a server build in a, a super micro uh, tower chassis. And I thought it would be a good idea just to share the experience. So, although it's a tower chassis, it does come, or not come, but there is an available rack mount kit for it. So you can turn it on its side and put it in a rack at a later date. The chassis model number is 743TQ. 865SQ and it's a single powered uh, tower chassis which will take anything from an ITX up to an extended ATX motherboard. It won't however take Supermicro's EE extended boards. So let's go over it briefly from the front here you'll see that you've got your power switch, a reset switch, power on light, hard drive activity lights, LAN lights, and warning light, and two USBs. Got three 5.25 bays, one with an exposed cutout for a three and a half inch, and these can be used for either optical drives, a caddy, or internally you can fit a three and a half inch drive in each. You can fit a two and a half inch drive into them but there's only actually two mounting holes for them so it's not perfect. Also you'll note that this chassis has got eight hot swap trays behind this lock invented front door. And these trays take three and a half inch drives. Unlike some trays, they don't have an option for two and a half inch, so you have to buy a separate two and a half inch tray. So internally, you'll see these green plastic fan holders. Two of them are actually dummies the top and the bottom one. So only these two have fans in them. They're 80 mil fans and as you can hear the system's actually running and they're not noisy at all. Also a 120 mil fitted at the rear. To keep the noise levels down, because that's really what the chassis is aimed at, we've used a Dynatron cooler Super micro coolers aren't much cop and a lot noisier. You could use a passive cooler, but we don't feel that's particularly recommended. There's a single power supply, I believe it's a 650 watt. And in this particular build, we've got a standard. ATX Supermicro motherboard. Model number, if you're interested, it's X10SRH-CLN4F. This board's got 10 SATAs, so one of them we've used for a 2.5 inch OS drive and the rest of them we've connected to the back plane here which is a SATA SAS back plane which has standard SATA type connections so if you go in from a RAID card you'll need a breakout cable that's a big chassis very deep, so just be careful of the dimensions. And I guess it's aimed at somebody who needs something like a 
high-end system, dual processor system, etc. in their office and they don't need the noise, with the option to later rack it. Now don't be fooled by the fact that it's a super micro chassis. You don't have to use a super micro motherboard. You can use Asus, Gigabyte, etc. The motherboard mountings are all the same. There's nothing special about it being super micro. And again, it doesn't have to be a server board. If you want to use a desktop board, that's also fine. So it's currently running, and you can hear it's not noisy. There's a little bit of a humming, but uh, that will be reduced when the side panel is put back on. And I don't think it would be annoying in an office environment. So as in any of the chassis that we sell, we'll build up to specification as a complete server, or we'll sell you the chassis or the chassis and parts alone. Just follow the links on the YouTube video. So there you go, Supermicro Tower Chassis. Thanks very much for listening.